So OnePlus Philippines has just launched their newest mid-range smartphone in the market and this one is quite enticing. Why? Because this is smartphone comes with a lot of hardware that uh, we can't expect on its price with its uh, Philippine SRP of 14990 and uh, this one comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 processor. I know it's a little bit dated but for its price that is quite enticing. And then we also got here 6.72 inch Full HD Plus 120 hertz each uh, 120 hertz IPS display and then there's the 67 watt superbook charging and 5000 mAh of battery. As for the camera, this one comes with a 108 megapixel main camera. I know that's a lot of features, it's a lot of hardware and it's quite enticing for 4990. And yes, that is the OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite 5G. That is a mouthful name but this one comes with a pretty decent hardware for its price. So what do we think of this smartphone? Well, today we're going to do a gaming review of this smartphone. So we're going to try out different smart, uh, different games on this smartphone. And uh, of course, we'll let you know the verdict afterwards. So what are we waiting for? Let's, go, let's proceed to our gaming review. All right. So uh, for the first game, it's Mobile Legends. So we're going to set it a high refresh rate with uh, ultra graphic settings. We we'll have to turn on the uh, outline so everything is set to the highest settings possible. And yes, uh, this one is running pretty well on the smartphone. And uh, if you can hear that, there we go. That is actually a uh, pretty good audio. It's very immersive and it's very loud, and yet it is clear. Objective: destroy the enemy outer turret. that despite having a lot of AI, the game is actually pretty smooth. There we go. So basically Mobile Legends isn't uh, really a problem on this one as expected. Very capable. Um, no problems at all with Mobile Legends. So next is uh, Call of Duty Mobile. So as you can see in here, we're going to set it up at a very high with max uh, frame rates. Of course, we're going to turn on everything that we can turn on, including um, anti-aliasing and everything. So there we go. Not uh, available. There we go. On, on, on. No, no ragdoll. Just bloom. Everything is on, basically. So uh, as you can see in here, the game is very smooth as expected. Uh, the game is actually pretty optimized for most processors and uh, most of the time when we're reviewing a smartphone Call of Duty Mobile is uh, very optimized. It's very rare that uh, we see smartphones that aren't really optimized for the game We actually don't need um, to download the shaders anymore and as you can see no lags at all uh, with this smartphone So yeah, that's it for uh, Call of Duty Mobile. So for this one, uh, we're running Genshin Impact. So to fully enjoy the game, we actually have to set it at the settings. So go to the settings, 
as you can see in here the graphics is set at the lowest settings but we've set the FPS at 45 you actually have to turn off uh, the bloom uh, you have to turn off uh, the anti-aliasing the cloud density should be low basically the lowest settings but a higher frame rate to fully enjoy the game as you can see right now uh, the game the game or the graphics doesn't have a uh, really smooth graphics in here you can see the edges of uh, Paimon isn't that smooth and there we go so as you can see the graphics isn't the best one um on the oh, smartphone are you travelers from around here as well no we can i see i'm lynn eat the picnic my travel so there you go as you can see in here it's still uh, we're still not Never doing a lot and yet we're something. still experiencing some frame drops which is expected on a Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, 695 processor. So you can see the graphics monster isn't that great. It isn't that smooth and you can see that there's still some frame drops in the smartphone. There we go, some cinematics. There we go, another frame drop on this one. This, this one is used to be pretty a demanding. Street, as expected. So many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. So uh, as you can see earlier, everything is really well with Genshin Impact. Now on to our next game. So this is Honkai uh, Star Rail. So uh, as you can see in here, we've set uh, the graphic settings at very low. And the uh, choices that we have for the FPS is only 30 or 60. So we set it up at the 60 FPS. And yes, um, the smartphone, or the game rather, doesn't have yet the uh, most you know optimize experience yet with most smartphones but yeah we're gonna try it out uh with honkai star Day. so we're gonna try with an enemy right here so as you can see there were uh, already a frame drop on that one there we go another frame drop on that one there we go if you, if you notice there were already some frame drops on the smartphone Try uh, using some skills. You can see this one is quite smooth as of this one. So basically, the game is very playable. But um, the thing here is that uh, we don't have the best graphic settings, and I believe the frame drops uh, are still here because of the lack of optimization of the processor in the game. But yeah, uh, basically, even this, even though it, this one is a new game. This one is still very playable and still um, smooth to me. So we're gonna try out uh, another battle in here. Oh, and there we go. See, there's a uh, bit of frame up on that one along with that one. But yeah, uh, let's see. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear a moment, see your butterflies. Illusions of the past. Get away. 
that'll take him. <laughs> I have something for you. <laughs> Hope you're prepared. <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> what a spite move. Really didn't have a problem with that. If we're not on patrol, we're here they should get at some the rest. administrative district. As you can see, no lags at all. Surprisingly, uh, but yeah, there we go. As you can see, the, <laughs> the objects are now loading, and yes, uh, we can now see you know what a I little mean. bit of frameworks in that one, but not really. I was, I was expecting that it would be worse, but surprisingly. Uh, the OnePlus smartphone handled this one pretty well. So yeah, I guess that's it for our short Come gaming review of the work. OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite 5G. I know, it's a quiet long name. Alright, so uh, we finished our gaming review of the OnePlus Nord CE3 Lite 5G. I know that's a lot of fingerprints after uh, some gaming. It's quite annoying. Anyway, uh, First of all, Mobile Legends, it run pretty well as expected, no problems at all along with Call of Duty Mobile. It is already expected since Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 processor is already out in the market for a while now. So it might be dated but it means that it's also optimized for a while. And yes, the processor is very very common, that's why we've seen that before on different smartphones and that's why it's optimized with Call of Duty Mobile. Of course, with Genshin Impact, we were able to play the game. However, you have to set your expectations at a little bit lower as we were able to play the game at the lowest settings with 45 FPS, but we still experienced some frame drops, especially at Monsanto. This is considering that I've started a new game and there are not a lot of effects with my skills uh, in the game. So yes, you have to set you know, your expectations are a little bit lower when playing Genshin Impact. As for the newest game from Hoyoverse, Honkai Third or oh, Honkai Star Rail rather, uh, this game was quite smooth, that expected. Uh, since this game is quite new, a lot of processors are not yet optimized, but surprisingly, Honkai Star Rail ran pretty well on the smartphone. And since this one is a turn based action game and not an ARPG just like Genshin Impact, uh, this is quite tolerable despite some frame drops, despite you know not having the smooth 60 frames per second on the smartphone, but nonetheless, it was playable it was quite enjoyable to play on the oneplus nord ce3 lite 5g so yeah i guess that's it for our gaming review of this smartphone so if you like this video don't forget to give us thumbs up and of course don't forget to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that subscribe button along with that bell button to get notified of our latest videos here in my youtube channel so once again i am jam jam online.ph thank you for watching and see you guys again in my next video